Welcome to Fragrance Wheel, your number one channel for fragrance, fashion, and food. Welcome or welcome back to another edition of Fragrance Wheel where we talk about fragrance, fashion, and food. Uh, today I'm going to bring you a segment of fragrances and we'll talk about our fall fragrances because yesterday was supposed to be the first day of fall and you can tell that the weather, is, weather pattern is changing and that uh, cooler weather is coming. So before we get started, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and that bell icon. Also, share so that someone else can possibly entertain themselves on this content. Okay, so we'll begin with our first uh, fragrance and any mini mighty move. We're going to probably start with uh, Montal. This is from the house of Montal. I like the little jiggly over to the side here, you know what I'm saying? I just pop it off. Uh, this is from the house of Montal and this is dark vanilla. This is this is just right going into the fall. Mm -hmm. And it'll take you into this winter too, sure will. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. So this is going to be, some of the chorus is like woody, uh, it, it's vanillic, it's animalic, it's spicy. Eh, you, I, yeah, I smell some tinge of leather in there and, and amber, definitely amber. Uh, this has no sweet spices, uh, Cambodian oud. Uh, it's kind of that oud that's a little harsh. It is a little harsh. And it does have vanilla, but then it has that smooth sandalwood too. So those kind of offset each other. Then you have hints of patchouli and definitely, like I said, that amber. Now this is a beast mode scent. Definitely beast mode. They say it's unisex. So I'm not going to argue with them. Say it's unisex, it's unisex. So it's beast mode. It is definitely harsh up top, like I said, with that Cambodian oud. Uh, and that patchouli with the little leather nuances. That's the harsh part about it when it first opens. So don't sniff it when you first spray it. Just spray it. Or if you want to spray it on your clothing, lay your clothing out, spray it on your clothing, and about 15, 20 minutes, then go back and smell it. And I guarantee you, it smell like heaven. So, uh, but with that harshness, you have your vanilla and you have that smooth, smooth sandalwood. That, and then you have that amber. Then once you're left with that, you have spices and that oud. So, that's what's going to turn everything around. And so what you're going to probably end up is you'll end up with a little sweet woody oud. That's what you're going to, that's what you're going to end up with. It is addictive. It's strong. And longevity is like whew, this long. I know you can't see my arm. I guess I have some pretty long arms. So, and it's, it's evenly blended though. After a while, not an initial spray, but over time it's evenly blended. It has a dark, dark complex vanilla. Uh, it's gorgeous and it's, it's delicious. And it's, it's definitely spicy, definitely spicy. And I'll, with that said, I'll say it is quite exhilarating. So when you use this right here, you know it's gonna be around, it will, meet you there and when you leave you'll leave it there and people will say well where, I, I smell him where is he or where is she left the room but remember if you want something to carry you into the fall and into the winter try this one Montal's dark vanilla beautiful scent okay uh, my second fragrance in this fall autumn collection <clears throat> it is from the house of mason francis kirk john and it is oud not oud silk mood not oud satin mood just oud so here is oud it's just pure oud that's what it is and this here Oh my, oh my. Mm. Spread, oh, it is so beautiful right off the bat. 
I'm going to tell you some of the chorus is uh, warm spice. Uh, it's, it's oody, of course. It's aromatic. And it's woody, definitely woody, with balsamic. It's a little balsamic, a little resinous, just a little resinous. And it also has a metallic sense in here with a little saffron. Of course, saffron gives you that little sweetness, you know what I'm saying? So you have Elemi in here, which is piney, spicy. That's what's giving you that spicy balsamic nuance is the Elemi. Then you have an agar wood, which is the oud. And the oud is... Uh, that darkness, that dark animalic, and that's probably what you, you, you kind of smell that too. So you smell that and then you have a hint of patchouli. Now that's all I pick up, but it is so beautifully blended. Initial onset is that metallic and oud and a little sweetness. So I'll look at this and it's just it's the dry down. Then we look at the dry down and you have a smooth, Spicy, still spicy, resinous, western oud. Western ouds are a little less harsh than Eastern, Middle Eastern ouds. Uh, and that's for the wear and pretty much for the, uh, the, the atmosphere, the hemisphere, wherever you live. So western oud is a little more tame and I don't have those animalic. But I do smell just a little bit of animalic in this, which makes it so good. So this is definitely high class business. This is a business class person. Masculine, but it definitely could be a boss lady's scent. So guess what? This commands attention without the wear saying not one word. All they all you know is mm -hmm, they have this. They got this. And it is definitely simply irresistible. You spray this one time. <sighs> you in love, I'm telling you. You in love and you in charge. So either you're in love with your work or you're in love with your significant other when you wear this. So my second autumn scent is from the house of Mason Francis Kirk Dijon, and it is Oud. Just Oud. Okay. Okay, our next fragrance is from the house of Santa Jordan and it is Vanilla Nomad. Uh oh, I'm telling you. This is this is this is a unisex fragrance. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay. That's what it looks like. Nice, beautiful bottle. I haven't worn too much because it's new to me, so I don't, you know, I'm gonna try it out. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you don't sniff that first. You know, you don't sniff that right off. Mm -mm, you don't do that. Whew. So this one is unisex, like I stated, and it has warm spices. And you're gonna see why in a minute, I'm gonna tell you. It has warm spices. It has an ambery uh, no, uh, nuance or chords or whatever. It has vanilla chords, woody, it's woody. It definitely has hints of patchouli and it's definitely aromatic. So we'll go. It has it has a coriander. I can I can definitely smell the coriander. This is definitely spicy and preppy. And that's why I say you don't want to smell it off that sniff right there. I smelled it marginally because I've I've sprayed it before and I know what it smells like. You don't want to inhale that right off the jump. Do what I did for the last one. Spray it on your clothes, let it lay there for about, about 10 or 15 minutes, then you wear it. But I'll continue. Uh, it has notes, like I said, the coriander is spicy and peppery, that's one. Then you have cardamom, which is sweet and spicy, so it's a more spice, but it's aromatic too. So that, that, that will linger, that will carry it in the wind. And then also you have um, olibanum, which is resinous, mm, yeah. And then you have, uh, where it's not only resinous, it's resinous, it's woody, and it's spicy. So you have like three sources of spice here. Then you have your vanilla, of course that's sweet and you give you that little cozy, you know, cuddle, cuddle buddy effect. Then you have the sandalwood, it's very smooth. It can be creamy at times. So it will kick off, like I said, resinous, incense, spicy, and then it has to be tamed down. So it's tamed uh, with a dry vanilla 
brings it down that vanilla and with whips of several other notes the woody notes and 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 things of that and it, then it fades in and out until it rests upon the incense which is penetrating it's still penetrating it ain't go it will not go anywhere this is an incense based fragrance so it is penetrating but it's followed by like i said that soft creamy sandalwood this is definitely a powerhouse that exudes confidence you have to say nothing you spray you let it lay then you wear it and people know they know what time it is they know that you're there trust me and it smells so good i'm not gonna spray it again though okay so from the house of santa jordan this is vanilla nomad Okay, our fourth one on my autumn fall list of fragrances that I would wear starting off this season is from the house of Karamo and it is Diamond Ewed. You can see I don't put a dent in that thing. Ooh, I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it. Yes, I, I wore it last year. This is my second year having it, so it's pretty nice. Very nice. Okay, it is definitely unisex. Beautiful atomized. I love it. Mmm. Okay, it is diamond oud. It is fresh, definitely fresh. Oh, it smells so good. Yet it's spicy. It is definitely oudy and it's definitely woody. So you have, you have uh, notes like agarwood with, you know, that's, that's the oud. And then you have the woody notes, several woods, shrubs, that kind of stuff. And then you have the spicy notes in here and then you have balsamic notes that bring in a, some resins some resins to mix up with those spices uh, and then you have the musk and vanilla gives you that fresh and that sweet nuances so starting off with this kind of fragrance i'll be like oh, this is fresh it is sweet it is spicy but not too sweet not at first now I'm going to tell you how to control that in just a minute. This is captivating. It's definitely rich. It's mesmerizing. I'm telling you, you will leave those around you in a daze. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. Especially with that musk and that vanilla combination. <sighs> it's to die for. I'm trust, trust me, it is to die for. And then you have that spice which, which lingers right on the end and this kind of dissipates a little at the end and leaves you with that musk and that vanilla. And I'm gonna tell you that, that combination right there would drive them wild. It's a beautiful, it's an earthy sweetness that has class, and elegance but I will tell you this control your sprays and my tip to you no more than about two two sprays wherever you want to put it on your clothes on your body two sprays <sighs> otherwise it goes the other way where it becomes cloying and nobody wants to be feigning in there because of your fragrance okay so this one number four in my autumn fall collection that i would be wearing if i had five i have one more it is from the house of karama and it is diamond ood mm, my mind okay we're down to our final fragrance and it is from the house of tom ford and it is costa azure parfum Beautiful bottle, very beautiful. And I'll tell you, I'm spraying. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. That's definitely aromatic. And that's one of the, yeah, that's one of the chords. Uh, it is woody. It is def, wait, first of all, it's definitely unisex. It's definitely unisex, but it's, woody of course is woody it's aromatic just like i just stated it's ambery it's spicy and then it has 
uh, some citrus citrus nuances right up top, but then that dissipates after a little while. You know, it calms down. Trust me. Uh, and the notes are lemon, Italian lemon, and then it has cypress, which gives that earthy and aromatic that I was talking about, the earthy and aromatic. Then it has woody notes with the oak, and the amber gives it that sweet nuance, with, along with the labdanum that gives you that kind of a powder, powdery nuance too. So it opens like this. It's nice, quick citrus open with a spicy, earthy nuance. Then the aromatic from the cypress kicks in. And that's followed by a semi-sweet amber note. And to sum it all up, it's a beautiful woody, sweet and spicy, uh, earthy tones, uh, fragrance that tells you that autumn is finally here. So this one is definitely class and elegance from the house of Tom Ford. My number five or number one, however you want to look at it, it is Costa Azura Parfums. Beautiful, beautiful, just beautiful. Okay, well that's my five fragrances that's going to take me into fall, autumn season, and I will definitely will be wearing these. Uh, let me know down below what you'll be wearing. Also, uh, any like samples that you might want to acquire is down below in the after descriptions, okay? And you'll see uh, number one to five, five to one, however you look at it. So don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and that bell icon to let you know that I have dropped my next segment. And whatever you don't, whatever you do, don't forget to share it. Share. Share it with somebody. Share. Share. Okay? Oh, let me have to say it again. Share. Okay. Now, what I say, when you're having just a not so good day and you call your friends and they don't answer, but you need to pick me up, remember, you can always call Fragrance Wheel. Dial me up and look at some of my videos, okay? And we'll see you on the next segment. Peace.